Hello everybody and welcome to Fruit Factory. This is by the India Accord and they have uh, very kindly given me a press key for this one. And uh, I just thought it looked really super fun. And like, I would have an absolute whale of a time playing it. And we've been doing lots of slightly more in-depth and serious games lately. So I thought just let's have a fun little cool puzzler dude that we can just have lots of fun with. I'll pro it's probably going to get super serious now, you watch. Okay, so the first thing I get to do is drive around a cool truck and like, um, like bash everybody's stuff and, and like, let's get rid of these cons, this, that's a public service, yeah, 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 yeah. But actually the reason that you want to be in here is, um, so that you can, you can crash into the factory and do the levels and there are, there are quite a few factories around the place that you can choose from and you've got like, um, normally eight levels. I don't know if there'll be more in other factories, but eight levels in this one. And uh, I did a couple just to just to test the waters. So the first two I'll know what I'm doing. And then level three, I'll suddenly go downhill. You watch. <laughs> so anyway, welcome to your first day in the fruit factory. Our mission is to sort the fruit. Actually, only apples are coming down the pipe right now. So maybe sort is a strong word. Regardless, the best way to move the fruit is with a conveyor belt. To make a conveyor belt, click here or press one. Okay, let's uh, dunk, 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 rotate, dunk, 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 and then just wait for it to fill up. And that's a very, very super easy level, so we're not going to spend too long on it at all. Like 30 seconds, done. Bing. Bish bash bosh. But it's just to, to ease you in. Okay, so the second level, apples and strawberries are coming from the same pipe. Now it's getting good. Try using the shaker to sort the fruit. Press 2 or click the machine here. The strawberries will fall through the holes and the apples will stay up top. Build machines higher in the air by using the mouse wheel to raise the crane. Looks like we also have a budget for this level. If you keep the cost below the limit, you can get an extra apple. Now, I, I worked out a way to do this within budget because I'm clever. Yeah. So here's the shaker and I'm going to put the shaker here. Because what you don't want to do you want the minimum amount of conveyor being split between the apples and the strawberries and the maximum with them both on. So we want to raise it because we want room for both apples and strawberries. We want it to go in the direction the apples are going because the strawberries will fall onto a conveyor below and go in whichever direction the conveyor is going. So you'll see what I mean in a second if that doesn't make sense, which it doesn't always. <laughs> so I'm going to just go down one. And then we've got this conveyor going this way. I'm so so glad for the arrows. And then we've got this conveyor that's gonna go one higher with the apples on it going that way into the apple box. Then we need it to be obviously at this height so that it will go onto the top of the shaker. So one, two, and then turn it around. Three, four, five, six, boom, done. 101. I think that is the optimal one. Uh, if, you, if you find an op a, a more optimal way, then do let me know. But I think I think that that is probably the optimal way for this one. Certainly within budget. Okay, so now we're on the first level that I haven't previously had a little go at. So this will be the one where I'm like, oh, I need to restart. I don't. I didn't do it efficiently. Okay, so by the way, my name is Mr. Gloomer. I'll be your manager. Wait, is that a watermelon? Those are simply unmanageable. Watermelon can break when dropped from heights. And there's a golden conveyor belt? Good luck. By using a golden conveyor belt gives another apple. But it's so hard to incorporate into your machine. I don't think I can manage that. And watermelons. I see. Yeah. So they've purposely put it in a really, really difficult place. To incorporate. We've only got a budget of 75 as well, and we have apples that need to go. Watermelons don't want to be dropped from height, but we do need to sort the apples from the watermelons as well. So we're going to need a sorter. I think the sorter needs to be directly above 
The first thing that I need to do, I think you can sell things back. Um, and, and, and I think if you, say I put this down, I'm gonna just do a bit of a test. So put that down and it's 10. If I delete it, do I get 10 back? Yes, I do. So we can, we can have infinite tries at different methods if we want to. So what I think I'm going to do, this will just be for apples, okay? But of course they're dropping right there. Oh, but it'll go underneath. Right, okay, okay. Yeah, my plan will work. My plan will work fine. So what we're gonna do is we're going to put a conveyor there. I want to see the watermelons do not break there. So that's really good. And then we're gonna go around. Oh no, we're not. Oh no, we're not. Hang on. Delete, delete, delete. That's an, that's that's excessive conveyor belt usage. We want it to go that way. Oh, done it wrong again already. I'm really glad that I can delete and get my money back. And then here we're going to have a shaker and it's going to shake those watermelons down into their box. At least I hope so, because I'm hoping that the apples will will fall through as the smaller fruit. I'm hoping the smaller fruit, a small sorter, hang on. Are there other things? Centers fruit, a funnel catches fruit softly. A large sort of sorts large fruit. That's probably what we need. We need a sorter for large fruit. So the apples will fall down and the watermelons should fall in. So let's just test that out because I've never tried a large sorter before, but that seems to be working absolutely perfectly. Now the issue I've got here now is I don't know if I'll be able Oh, I've got a better right. I've got a better way to do it. Hang on, let's sell all of these. Yeah, we can go around that way and do it in way less uh, steps. So, so it was good to get the sort of the initial idea just like down, but I think I can just do this. And then I will have a much, much larger budget to get the apples where they need to go. And then we've got a large sorter. It goes that way. Okay, and then a conveyor belt underneath. So we're wanting to do the apple conveyor belt now. It goes there. Then you use the golden conveyor belt. to the right place is a nightmare. Also, the apples need to be up even higher. Even higher than that. Because the apple box is, is high up and we need to spend 12 to get an elevator. So that's what I've got at the moment and that costs 90. But it does incorporate it does incorporate the the golden the golden uh, conveyor belt there. So how can we make that even better? Because I'm doing really well with the watermelons and the apples, but it's just a bit too pricey. Maybe I'd have to do it in two different runs, uh, like a, a cheap run and a golden conveyor belt run. I don't know. Oh, 
A lot of the the uh, watermelons are, are going a little bit awry as well, look. Sometimes they want to go where they're supposed to go, and sometimes they're just like, nah, I'll just go a different way. So I don't know, you've got to have a certain amount going in there at a time. If they're all missing, then that's a problem. But look, he's going backwards. Mm. Right, so we got two apples on that one. We didn't get three. So I can come back maybe later and um, see if see if I can work out a way. I mean, maybe bouncing the fruit for twenty five would would give me would give me something I could do. I'm not sure. We're gonna have to work on that one. I think we're gonna. Why have I only got one apple for that now? I don't understand. <laughs> okay. I don't mind about that level. We'll, we'll maybe go back to it later and see if we can optimize it. But I'm a bit irritated. I'm kind of a bit irritated because I used that golden conveyor. Why didn't I get an extra apple? I'm not I'm not happy with that. We've been called in to repair this machine. Be careful not to build in the areas of the black floor. We may have to get creative with this one. Good luck. Ah, okay. Well, I think we need to bounce it. I think we might need to bounce it because we definitely can't, we can't build there, so it has to go. So I think we need a bouncy bounce. I'm gonna try it there. Okay, and then I think I'm gonna put a funnel. How far up can I put a funnel? Oh, not very far up, unfortunately. All right, let's try putting the bouncer up to level three. Let's see if that makes a difference for the watermelons. The watermelons are still getting messed up. So that's not so good. Okay, let's try putting a bouncer right on the bottom and see what that does. Aha, so that they land more gently. So that's how we're going to do this thing. That's an interesting little uh, little lesson to learn, isn't it? There we are, and that was three points. So I'm hoping, what I'm hoping is that second level, I'll learn how to make the bounces and things, and we'll maybe try and work work on that. Walls help with the accuracy of the machine and our cheap to build. I think we can fix this machine if we use them. Okay, so this is teaching me things that, as I say, I might be able to go back to that second level and do it again. So we just want to look here at where the strawberries are falling off, which is here. So if I put a wall there, then it should make it far more efficient. She says not being able to put a wall there. Why not? Could I put it that way instead? There we are. Much more efficient. Now, we've got some apples falling off. They're falling off. There and there. And I think we're in budget. So this is going much better since that second level. I, I do want to go back and do it again. Because I think the more I learn about how to use the different stuff, um, the more I'm going to be able to sort of work out what I'm doing with that and what might help. Hmm, we've got a lot of apples falling off here now. I won't be able to build there, unfortunately. Ah, cool. We worked it. We did it. Nice. Now, now what are we doing? Now we have... Oh, then he's not come to talk to me this time. So we've got apples. We've got the strawberries. We've got the strawberry box there and the apple box there. And we've got to bounce them in. Alright then, so I'm going to definitely, definitely want a bouncer there. A 
and the bouncer there. We know that because we just do. Definitely, definitely, definitely going to want a, I think, a conveyor there and a conveyor there. A conveyor there and a conveyor there. I feel like I need to bounce the strawberries over. Oh, I see what to do. All right, so we're going to delete the entire factory because I'm being a, a bit of a Muppet here. So basically, um, I had completely the entirely right idea, but I had it the wrong way around. Silly shit lab. I had entirely the right idea, <laughs> but I had it the wrong way around. So what I need to do... <laughs> Muppet. Honestly. What I need to do is uh, I need to bounce these up there. So that's all the apples. And then I need to do a, a climber. Goes over. Conveyor. Lowerer. we go and we're on budget and we use the golden conveyor okay getting better slowly at this <sighs> I annoy myself sometimes I swear okay so we got we got there in the end starting to get a good idea of how to do these things right so now what have we got we've got apples golden apple box golden conveyor and then we've got strawberries as well Okay. So this one I could almost do similar to what I did last time. Uh, so I'd probably want a bouncer to start with. So they go over. They end up landing about there. So I probably will need two conveyors. It's not really using the golden conveyor, but the golden conveyor is there doing its thing. I mean, does it matter? I, I'll have to see if I get three apples for it because I'm like, does it matter that it's... Uh... And I definitely need a bouncer there, don't I? Because they're going to need to bounce all the way over. So let's see where they bounce to. They bounce straight onto that conveyor. So I think I want the bouncer higher up so that they'll bounce a bit further. As we saw with the watermelons earlier, if it's higher up, they bounce further. Oh, or they don't. All right then, so what we're gonna need then is um, a conveyor belt that catches them a bit higher up. Oh no, but now that's catching the apples. Oh, this is terrible. I'm starting to see the, the conundrum with this one. All right, let's try putting the bouncer even higher up. Nope, they are designed to just bounce the same way no matter where it is. Okay. Cool. We've got apples and strawberries everywhere! No! So in that case, what we may need to do is delete the entire thing. Because that's always actually a good thing to just do the first try. See what the problems actually are, what problems you're working around, and then delete the entire thing and start again. Does seem to be a good tactic, that one. So, if I just move those to the side, I could bounce those directly over there, okay? The apples... I could, I could move slightly across. All the strawberries could move across. One of them basically needs to be to the side. That's what needs to happen there. So what I need here is a conveyor belt, for example, that goes there. 
It really doesn't matter how high it is, I don't think. But again, I can always adjust it if need be. So that moves the, the strawberries directly onto that conveyor belt, which is quite interesting. Then we could just conveyor belt them in. Then we need to bounce the apples over. I think we might be in trouble with the apples. So I'm thinking for apples, we're going to try and get them to bounce over to here. We're going to be over budget though. But let's just see if it works first. Oh look, it works! And not only does it work, it works without that conveyor belt. Which puts us exactly on, into budget. That is wonderful. Yay! Oi! Why don't I get a third one? I was in budget. I don't get that. I used the golden conveyor and I was in budget. Do I have to be under budget? Maybe I have to be under budget. That sucks. All right, so we're fixing this one by the looks of it and it looks like it's got a missing bit there. Let's just put that in as a conveyor belt and just see what happens. And that means that apples go in the strawberry box, which sucks. That's not very good at all. So we're going to need to get the apples up here, I think. Build anything on the, the black bit there. Oh dear. Hmm. Puzzly, puzzly puzzles. It, it would be really easy to get the strawberries into the apple box and the apples into the strawberry box. It's not so easy to get the other stuff, get them to go the other way around, is it? I can't change anything about it either. So I think what I might need to do here then is uh, I'm going to try putting a bouncer right up here. Right above here because I'm allowed to change this you see. So I'm going to try putting a bouncer there. See if the apples go in the apple box. They do. So that sorted that out. Right so what am I allowed to do with the strawberries? We can bounce them. I think what we probably need to do with the strawberries to take this conveyor right around here and then they would end up going the same place as the apples used to go which was into the strawberry box oh would help if that was right around there they are they're going they're going where they should be going there we are And we're under budget by quite a large margin on this one. Wow. So that was, we got a three apple score on that one. So we did really well. Uh, we did 18 out of 21. So we did miss out on a few, on a few little stars. That looks like it's being built still. Oh, it's built now. Hurrah. Wonderful. So you gotta look for construction sites clearly. Okay. So uh, we can go on level select and get some more stuff. I wonder if there is anywhere where I can... I've got apples and it looks like I could maybe spend them on something. There's a secret level. 
<gasps> Guys, I found the secret level. Yeah, let's think about where these things are going. So we've got apples that are going in completely the wrong place. We've got strawberries that are going in completely the wrong place. Oh no, there but there's apples and strawberries coming from there. okay, the same pipe there. So we, the strawberries will go back there. So I could just run the strawberries around this way. That's a fairly simple solution to that one. There's no budget though. There's no budget. Um Worry too much. But I don't think I can I can change anything about about what's already going on here. So we've got this unfortunate thing where we've got them going down here. I think I'll, I'm gonna try. To do this, so we, we've at least got them sort of going somewhere. So I, I now need to try and get a sorter in somewhere. I'm actually, oh, I'm actually thinking what I might need to do is just like completely undo this by actually putting in a, a conveyor here, like a, an elevator. And then have the shaker above it, have the uh, yeah, shaker. So the strawberries will be going down into there then. Oh no, that's a bit that I'm not allowed to. Grr. I'm not allowed to build on there. Oh, you nightmare. You wee nightmare. So I'll probably need a bouncer there, I think. So I'm going to put my sorter there. I'm going to try and put the sorter there. I'm going to delete that and I'm going to try and put a bouncer there and see if that will if that will work instead. Sometimes with the bouncers it's a case of just... No, it goes too far. How am I supposed to work with this? Okay, so let's try something else. Let's try a conveyor belt here. Let's try a bouncer in the corner. And then let's try a shaker two, two down from it. Well, I don't even know how that is working, but it is working. Seems the strawberries are not are not quite going as far. I don't even know if a shaker is required there or whether a conveyor belt would be just as good. Mind you, conveyor belts cost exactly the same, so that's fine. That's not a problem. Okay, so let's pop in a, a conveyor belt here. Boom. I don't know if the fruit has to go across this to count. To count as using the golden conveyor. I think that might be the case though. Hmm. Need a, li a lift here. So the apples are going in the apple box now, which is wonderful. The strawberries are going where? In the strawberry box. Oh, okay. We actually did solve it. However, I think that there's other ways probably to solve it using the golden conveyor belt. There wasn't a budget, so you couldn't get one apple. Oh, I got two apples there. I think maybe I would have gotten another apple if... Um, 
if I had used the golden conveyor. Something over here too, is that another secret level? Oh, I see. Like, that's now a park, is it? We turned it into a park. I am destroying the whole wide world. Trying to find a place to spend my apples. Oh, that's what I spend my apples on. I spend it on unlocking new levels. People, secret level. Look at me finding all the secret levels. <laughs> I'm not doing so well on them, but... I guess if you do extra secret levels, then that means that cool stuff will happen. So yeah, I actually think this doesn't look too awful. Now it's just a case of where to sort them to have the least amount of conveyor belts needed. Right, so I'm going to need, I think I'm going to need a large shaker that takes things this way to start with. And it's not going to be to be, need to be quite high up, I think. So we're just going to sort out where the melons are going first. It's going to need a bouncer. It may need something to catch it on the other side as well. So let's see what happens when uh, they get bounced. Yeah, so we're going to need a conveyor belt goes into there. And I'm going to try and lower the bouncer to see if we can get a softer landing for it. Put a funnel above that to give that a slightly easier catch. No, that's not going to work. Oh, hang on! No, it is working. Sometimes. Might need a wall. Sorter now. That is not good. Okay, so then the um, the apples and the pears and, and, the, and everything else. Oops. No, I didn't want you. I wanted a little conveyor belt. Okay. To go to a shaker. I need to bounce the apples in, so the shaker needs to actually go right underneath. Hang on. Boop. Boop. And then those apples need to bounce over. And then the strawberries can convey it underneath. Cool, so that, that's the apple sorted pretty well. The watermelon I still think could do, do with some improving. But we'll see how much uh, budget we've got left. Oh, it blocks it. How irritating. I think it does anyway. Alright then, so the strawberries are going to need to go round. Let's get that one going the right direction, and that should allow the strawberries through. So the apples are, are doing great, strawberries are... <laughs> I keep messing up the directions on the conveyor belts. Other than that, we've got a good plan. 
Okay, strawberries are going where they're meant to go now. Cool. Uh, so the watermelons are still struggling a lot. And I think some walls would probably help there. where they're meant to hit so one thing that might help them along a little bit right so one thing that I could try to do is to put the funnel higher up and see if that helps or just not even have a funnel at all apparently that completely works Oh no, it doesn't work. Okay. Let's see if a funnel up here would work. Oh, I need to remove the wall first. That's fine. Let's see if a funnel higher up would work. Also, the funnel seems to have a bit of a direction going on it as well. Yeah, that gets the funnel out of the way. And lets the bouncer do its work. However, I think that what might work a bit better here and catch a few more of the melons is if I actually had, instead of a... I had one of those. So then they don't have to bounce quite as high to make it. Yeah, the funnel's still getting in its own way. Enough melons might be making it through to just about scrape the level, if I'm lucky. But what I think I want to do is a little bit of a change to the watermelon side of things. So, I want to turn that one around this way. I'm just giving myself a little bit more space, you see, for the for the drop. Um, I want a conveyor belt down here. Because what I don't want is that is that in the way. That's that's my problem at the moment. That's my issue. Actually, I need a downward ramp there instead. In fact, maybe I don't even need the funnel. Funnels are kind of useful, but let's get rid of that for now. And just do some downward ramps. Actually, no, I will need a funnel to drop it. Like, I can't, I'll have a downward ramp there and then I won't be able to let them go anywhere else. No, 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 okay. Uh, that's fine. Let's have that there. Let's have a conveyor belt down here. And let's have a funnel up the top. Let's see if that just gets it out of the way enough to bounce a bit better. Oh, are you kidding me? No, don't put it onto that conveyor belt. That one's for the strawberries. Those melons is going everywhere. It's falling off. I see what he means by I, I can't deal with can't deal with watermelons at the same time as golden things. No, I I, I, I quite see what he means. Yes, indeed, I do. Tension is around here because I could do a lot more things with the watermelons, but it would be like in the way of the strawberries. Also, apparently now the apples aren't working very well. 
Maybe they're getting contaminated with watermelons. No stuff going on the other conveyor belts. Oh my goodness. I can't even use walls either. Because <laughs> you only have a certain amount of um, height. Could use walls if I lowered those down one though. Absolutely something I could do. Because the thing is as well, they can drop one quite happily. So let's try a little bit of a different thing then. Let's try dropping the watermelons down by one here. And then dropping them down by one again there. And then I'll put walls in so that they don't get as uh they don't run away as much. So how does that work? Seemingly much better. Okay, cool. Quite liking this factory now. Looking pretty good. Some of my apples are bouncing a bit wrong, but the melons are doing well. Come on, melons. I might have to try and make it more efficient somehow. I'm not sure. I think all the melons are making it where they should be making it, though. There we go. Yeah, we did a really good job there in the end. Fantastic. Super pleased. Super duper pleased. Happy, happy, happy. There's bananas. Why have I got bananas? Why are there bananas here? Oh, I knocked over a lamppost. Oops. Oopsie. Yeah. The more you do this, the more you find secret levels. No, I did. I already did this one. No, no, get back to level select. <laughs> I need to do it twice. I already got three apples on it. I have 23 apples now. I've almost got enough apples to build another factory. So I I don't think the game is like really punishing you to to be perfect, but you can like you can really try to be perfect and you can go back to things and see if you can make them more efficient and stuff like that if that's your bag. Um, but I think I'm going to leave it here now because we did two secret levels. We unlocked the next bit of the factory so I can I can tell that uh, we're going to have some more fun fun stuff to do. But that's just basically free factory for you. There's apparently 40 levels, um, it said on its on its thing. So there's probably one, there's probably five factories with four level uh, with like eight levels each on them. Um, and then there's probably maybe then some secret levels that I you know I found a couple of them uh, around the place. There's probably maybe like I don't know how many they'd they'd have, but there, there's at least seven of them. Um, I found that like secret level six and secret level seven. So you drive your truck around, you might find some extra super secret levels if you don't have enough apples. Uh, if you've not built efficiently enough and you don't have enough apples to get through, then you can find some secret levels and get some more apples that way and unlock all the really cool later levels. I hope you enjoyed the episode and if you did, then please do leave me a like below. Uh, the engagement on the video will determine whether I'm able to, to do any more. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, then please, as I say, do leave me that thumbs up. And uh, I do hope to see you all next time. But in the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.